Good morning. Are you waiting for the hurricane? We're gonna try. To, you want some? <laughs> you wanna go get some donuts, sweetheart? We're gonna go get some donuts. We're gonna try to anyway. Or we got the notice from Sonatis that they have a limited number of hurricane donuts, so we're gonna go get them. Or try to. Hopefully they're there. If not, they said we can pre order and get them tomorrow. So uh, we're gonna go do this. Right, sweetie? We're gonna go for a ride in the car. Did you wanna get some donuts? Here we go, Genevieve. Let's talk hurricanes. Yes? You can talk whatever you want to talk. I'm just driving. I here. know you're just driving. <laughs> I want to know, okay, so this is this is Tuesday, August 29th. It's the first big hurricane of the season, Hurricane Adelia. And my first question to you is, is that how you pronounce the name? Because I have no idea still. Some people say Adelia, some people say Idalia. I know, I've heard it both ways. Some and so, say tomato and some people say tomato. Yeah. So, not sure what it's pronounced, but I think the going uh, the going rate is Idalia, huh? Some people say ketchup and some people say catsup. Yeah, and some people say Chicago and some people say Chicago. So, I thought I would film today the day before a hurricane. What do you think? We're attempting to get hurricane donuts at Sonati's and I was up I want to say for many hours this morning and I literally was checking the Sonati's social media. Can you believe that? I am such a dork. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing there but I was so I wasn't thinking right. It was already, it was still closed when I was checking. They don't open till 6 and I was checking at like 4 and 5. That's when I was up. I couldn't sleep. So then Hours later, I check again, and they're like, we have a limited number of hurricane donuts left. They will sell out. Yay! But you can pre-order for tomorrow. So now we're behind, and they are already made their announcement that their hurricane donuts are in, and they're going to sell out, and they might not be here when we get there. But... Just for the fun of it, we're going to try. So I'm really glad, thank you for taking me on this drive because I needed this. So I find it fun that we're gonna go try and see if we can get these donuts. So what are your thoughts on Hurricane Idalia as of now? Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's a really good analysis. Mm -hmm. Come on, tell me what you're thinking. It's got some strengthening to do in the golf under the, uh, you know, as long as there's uh, favorable uh, wind shear at the mid levels there. Okay. So. Uh, the storm, the uh, golf is pretty warm, so that uh, could lead to some convective development there. Wow, that's like a weatherman report. Mm -hmm. So, that I think is my biggest concern right now, or question, confusion, I would say, not concern, confusion. Because right now it's, well, it was a tropical storm yesterday, and they said it will intensify into a hurricane, and then over the Gulf. And so then it was still a tropical storm last night when I was watching, and then of course, as predicted, it turned into a hurricane overnight. So right now it's a hurricane category one, right? Maybe. And. So now, because it's op 
over the open water of the Gulf, that's when it's going to intensify, right? Correct. And that's what the weather's saying? I guess that's what my confusion is. How do they know that it's going to intensify? Based on the environmental conditions ahead of the storm. So their prediction is going from category one to a category three. So by the time it gets to us, having gone across the armpit, or the, what are they calling it, the Big Bend? Mm -hmm. But I've always called it the armpit, have you? I've always called it the Cedar Key Greater Area. Okay, so the Big Bend, as they're saying in the weather reports, when it crosses that, our, what's the opposite word of intensify? Detensify, <laughs> what, what, is, what is that word? Well, once it goes over land, it it's gonna apart. Yeah, so it's not gonna be nothing bad when it gets here, right? Um, depends. Depends how fast it's moving. My concern part is it's going over. It's not like Irma where it went, or not Irma. Which is which? In, which is the hurricane that went all the way up the state? Well, Irma is that went Irma? Up the state. Yeah, that was okay. So, and it still caused so much damage up here. So, say it crosses the armpit, and that's the skinny part of Florida. It's heading. It curves over and heads toward us. So, I guess that's why. Every storm is so different and confusing to me because you can't really predict it. Hence, obviously, the cone of uncertainty and all the uncertainty of these storms. This morning, I saw on the news that they're opening shelters here in Jacksonville. Kroger Home Delivery. Ah, oh, Kroger Home Delivery. Yeah, it sounds like everything's going to be pretty much closed tomorrow. Except... Sonatis! So, in their social media post, it says that if you don't get this, if you don't get the donuts today, that we can pre-order them for tomorrow. They weren't taking pre-orders for Hurricane Donuts today, but they are taking pre-orders for tomorrow. So that's the goal. If we, oh, wow, there's a lot of cars here, parked in the grass. <laughs> if we don't get, oh yeah, somebody's pulling out. Here we are. No, where did they pull out from? <laughs> if we don't get the donuts today, we're gonna get them tomorrow. So Brian had to go all the way. We're parked on the other side of the fence here. He had to go all the way around the street. This place was so booked we couldn't get a spot or so packed. So we'll see what he says when he comes out. Maybe we'll have donuts, maybe we won't. Oh my gosh. Did you get him? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Did you get him? No. Oh. Look how pretty this is. Hey, sweetie. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Oh, Genevieve. Hi, Hi, sweetie. Hello. Oh, good doggy. Crackers. Say your crackers. Oh, have a good morning. <laughs> good oh, you're girl. Beautiful. Wish you all. Good okay, girl. Stop. You're wet. Yucky. Make her all. Bye. 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 <laughs> so pretty. Oh, good girl. Genevieve, you did so good. You did so good. You saw a cracker. His name is Cracker, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay, 
sweetie. Oh, wow. I like this little cut through here. This is beautiful. Ooh. It's got pretty high. Really? Well, here is the beach the day before Hurricane Idalia, huh? Genevieve, you're not allowed past this point, okay? I can't Looks get like over... they're working on some dune making over there. Really? I can't get over all the ones that actually put their shutters up here, wow. That's the most I most I've ever seen. Oh, you mean the tractor down there? Yeah, they're working on something with the dunes. It's really pretty. What do you think, Genevieve? It's gonna be your first hurricane. And it was after we got her. Uh, a late season storm came through. Maybe. Yes. I'm not crazy. But I don't think it was like anything hurricane. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was with Genevieve. So this is your second one. That wow. was with Genevieve, huh? Yeah. In November then. November. It was like November 14th. Yeah, there are lots of ships. It's hard to tell on camera, but right there. Whip ships waiting to waiting to come in, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good girl. She's she's uh she's scared of the beach. We're trying to make her not scared of it just by taking her out here a little bit tonight. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go watch. <laughs> Bye, have a nice day. <laughs> Good girl, sweetie, you got petted. Look at all the activity going on. There's a lot going on. Wouldn't you say? Wow. So, wow, look at the dunes here. They're high. I gotcha. You stay by Brian. I'm just gonna walk along the dunes here for a minute. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Are you gonna wait right here? Yeah, I'll be right here. Okay. Wow. So these dunes are higher than me. And this is our protection from hurricanes. This is it. And so they put these little ropes and barriers up here for a reason. So obviously, so people don't go through this part, but it looks like there's a three million footprints in there anyway. But you're definitely not supposed to walk on the dunes. They are our hurricane barrier. We have nothing else, that's it. Usually when a hurricane comes through the day before they sometimes fill in all these areas. And 
with sand as an extra buffer. And I don't know what they're doing down there with the tractors, but they might be doing that. I could be wrong because it's not even hitting on this side, but they usually have some storm surge pumps as well going across this across the dunes to prevent flooding on First Street. But these dunes are pretty high. They're higher than me, much higher than me. I see a red flag in the distance. There is a rip current statement out and we are in hurricane warning, obviously. But these dunes are vital to life on a barrier island. And they basically have their own ecosystem too. There's a lot of, a lot of creatures that live in these dunes. And the sea turtles nest right here. And if there is a nest, it's, it's protected and nobody should mess with it. I don't see any right here, right now. Here's a little walk over, and I'll turn around here. They are our hurricane barrier. They, they protect us from storm surge. If it breaks through that, it's, it's flooding. So, there's many reasons to stay off the dunes, but for hurricanes, I would say it's the number one reason. And then the dune grass, they plant that and replenish that because a lot of the dunes gets washed away with every hurricane. So it's a fascinating little piece of landscape, but it really is vital to life on a barrier island. And this is what it's like. One day before, there's a lot of surfers out there. A lot of people just relaxing and taking it all in before the storm comes because I'm sure there will be not many people out here tomorrow or tomorrow night whenever it comes through. But I hope you like this little checking out of the beach. I love it here. I don't want to leave. We do need to go home. And I need to charge up batteries and things like that, so I guess I'm planning for power loss tomorrow, if, if anything. But I always have to check out the beach before a hurricane. So thanks for coming along with me. I don't want to leave. I really don't. But here's the dunes up close, obviously. There's lots of um, snakes and other such creatures that do live in here. But we gotta get home. Okay. Let's go. And this building has a lot of their shutters not down, I only see one or two with shutters. That's interesting. Hey! You did so good! 
I'm interested. Oh, bakery tape. Is somebody getting some kisses? Come on. Five minutes later. Whoa, cool. Here's our donuts. Good selection, Brian. Wow. And we have four hurricane donuts pre-ordered for tomorrow. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is funny. Well, this means sneakers is closed. I know they usually are open. Shutters are open by now. Do you think that means they're staying closed? Oh yeah, it is boarded up. Is this the second floor? No, those are her. That's that's their first floor oh, shutters okay. that you can see through them. They are? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, window. Interesting. Yeah, they're installing that last shutter, huh? Right, it doesn't, uh, it's not closing or something, or the motor's broken or something. It's on a motor? Those rolling ones might be. Oh. You can't see out of them. No, you can't see out of them. I don't think I would like to be in a windowless place. I feel weird, claustrophobic. Well, I can't believe we're gonna be back at Sonati's tomorrow. Can you? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do with all these donuts, Genevieve? She says, I'll help. Yeah? You wanna help eat the donuts? She says, I'm good at eating donuts. Yeah, you are. Maybe you should have some doing. Oh, she's licking her choppies. She knows we're talking about good food. Oh, sweetie. You're such a good girl. Oh, you make poopoos? We gotta get you used to the sounds of the ocean, sweetheart. So they don't have the storm pumpers. Yeah, they do. They do? Right here. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, they do. I was wrong. Okay, so that's to prevent flood flooding, right? All this on First Street? This is to pump the water back into the ocean? Yeah, out to the ocean. Okay. Wow. Okay, then I guess they mean business around here. I don't usually see that unless they expect it to be kind of bad. Do you think it's going to flood? This street floods like a lot, doesn't it? That depends where the hurricane comes in. If it comes in from the, uh, to the north of us like it's supposed to, then it's gonna be blowing out to sea. Based on the wind, how the wind's blowing. If it comes in south of us, then we get storm surge. Okay. And this crane's just gonna stay here? Yeah, I know. you never know what they do with cranes. It's kind of scary. Yeah. So I think for Irma, there was a crane. Spinning around. Yeah, it was weird. Freaky. Sometimes I think maybe they let them do that. Yeah. Because if you, if you make it too tight, then it wind load on the whole structure. Yeah. If you let it spin, then there's less wind load on it. As long as there's not a lot of weight on the end there. Okay. If there's a lot of weight on the end, then you have the centrifugal force of it spinning and that would knock it off. Well, Genevieve, we're going to be back at the donut shop tomorrow. Sweetie, what donut are we going to have? We're home. Are we home? You yes, yes. I know. All right. There's our donuts. 
Wow, smell o vision It smells like cinnamon. Yeah, you want some? I can give you a little piece of something. Which one? <laughs> what do you think? You, you want more? This tiny bit? Want some crumbs? <laughs> oh, Genevieve. Okay, I'm gonna have this one. Yeah? Starving at this point. Oh my gosh, so good. Yes. He's a good girl. You like Sanadis? Yes, you do. Thank you. Hi. Oh, she's always right here, Brian. Oh, you so Hi. Oh. <laughs> So you think we have to take anything in later? Come here. Hi. Oh, this one. We gotta take this one in. Oh, so weedy. And take all this stuff off the walls. Yeah, all this stuff. Cheer pads. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Genevieve, are you ready for your first hurricane as an adult, baby? Are you being so hyper? Yeah. Are you being so hyper? Oh, look at you, good girl. Yeah, you being all hyper. Yes. You silly goose. Hey, we gotta show them the hurricane cross. Yeah, this is our hurricane car that we... I know, it's so exciting. We got this in November last year. And it was in the vlog when Genevieve was being socialized as a 12-week-old puppy. Hurricane Cross. I love it. It protects us now. Okay, so thanks for watching Christine's Floridian Dreams the day before Hurricane Idalia comes. Thanks for coming along. This is, I wanted to show you what the beach looked like a day before a hurricane. Uh, not even where the hurricane's gonna be, obviously. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we were up to and as we get prepared for the hurricane. And so obviously, we did look back, and this is Genevieve's second hurricane. She was here for Nicole last November, November 10th-ish. Yeah, so now you're an adult baby. Right, so you're an adult baby. And she's doing so good. And there's a two o'clock press conference with the cone of uncertainty update. And so I'm gonna watch that. As of now, I still don't think this thing is coming here at all. And I think it's gonna be a, just a just a significant rain event, but I did just find out that they are ordering some evacuations in the local area surrounding us. So I was surprised of that because it's not it's not supposed to be that bad here. But of course, whatever they know better than us, and I'm no weather person, <laughs> right, sweetie? We don't know anything about the weather. 
So we're just uh, gonna hunker down and wait now. But we did get Hurricane Donuts pre-ordered. They were $5 a donut and Brian ordered four before I could even tell them we only need like one because they're really big. Hi. We're gonna have four Hurricane Donuts tomorrow. Aren't we, sweetie? <laughs> yeah? Okay, so say thank you to everybody and we'll see you tomorrow if you wanna, if you want, let me know if you're interested in this kind of content, getting ready for a hurricane, what we do during a hurricane. Not, not much, not much going on, not much excitement. Just wanted to show you what it's like. Things being boarded up and everything shutting down, being closed. Very interesting to me how it kind of, how everything just kind of shuts down before, before a hurricane. And also try and just live a normal life. So, all right, we will see you soon. Give us a thumbs up if you like this content. And if you were happy that Genevieve took you on a nice tour of the, of the Jacksonville beaches area, right? So she said, if she give you a nice tour of the little beach before the hurricane comes through. So thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm Christine Piper and we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Did you want to get some donuts? We're going to get some donuts. Okay? <laughs>